Meanwhile, climate protesters crashed the view yesterday, disrupting Senator Ted Cruz mid-sentence. Inflation has one cause and one cause only. Women now! Women now! Women now! In, inflation in the United States has one cause and one cause only. What we do cover climate here, guys. Me. We do cover excuse climate. Excuse me. Ladies, ladies, excuse us. Let us do our job. And that wasn't the only clash on the show. There are a lot of folks in the media that try to, anytime a Republican is in front of a TV camera, try to say the election was fair and square and legitimate. You know who y'all don't do that to? You don't do it to Hillary Clinton, who stood up and said Trump but stole the election. You don't do it to Stacey Abrams, who said, who said that the election was stolen. They sat here yes. and said it was That's illegitimate, right. and, and, and was. you guys were fine with it. Okay, so, so, so it's illegitimate did, when Republicans did, did, win, the, but not when you, Democrats win. No. Right. Uh, you, you don't want to debate with Ted Cruz unless you know what you're talking about, for the most part. Senator Ted Cruz joins us now. Senator, a lot of people are saying, why would you go on uh, uh, The View? You want to expand your views, but do you get a chance to express them? Well, look, I think it was valuable to have a conversation, uh, not necessarily with the host, but with their viewers. There, there, there are a lot of people across the country who are only seeing one partisan side, who are not seeing any other view. And, and, and I think it is important as conservatives, we need to be reaching out. We need to re be reaching out to young people and Hispanics and African-Americans. And we need to be reaching out to suburban moms. Uh, today, I've got a brand new book that has come out, Justice Corrupted, how the left has weaponized the legal system. And it describes how under Barack Obama, the Department of Justice and the FBI and the IRS was turned into a tool, a weapon to attack their political opponents, and how under Joe Biden it's gotten even worse. And 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 I got to say, I think for the for the people who watch the View, that was a perspective they hadn't heard before. There's another exchange uh, that I had with with Whoopi where where she was uh, attacking Republicans and with sort of the obsession of, of of the media elite. She was just you know screaming about January 6th. Say you guys are all violent, and and she says our our side doesn't engage in violence. And I, I just had to laugh. I said, well, did, did did you miss an entire year worth of Antifa riots all across the country where our cities were burning? And Whoopi looked at me and said, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know of any Antifa riots. I mean, that really says <laughs> yeah, something. Right. It does. A absolutely. You're absolutely right, Senator. So many people these days are just in a silo and they only hurt here one yep. side. So I, you know, I appreciate you going in and trying to educate the, that other side to what's going on. But I'm kind of curious. I know at one point Anna Navarro apologized uh, that it would happen on the show. What happened during the commercials? What did they say to you during the commercials? Oh, look, I think they were embarrassed that they had, there were two instances where they had protesters that began screaming and cursing and yelling, F you, F you. I mean, they, they, they were, well, well, it's not clear to me even the protesters were necessarily triggered by me. They were screaming about, about climate change. Mm -hmm. you, you know, I laughed. I said, it's a good thing there's not a Van Gogh hanging on the wall. These guys would be throwing soup. I mean, I mean, it, it, you know, they were kind of nuts, and, and, and I think the hosts were a little bit rattled. They said in the entire history of the show they'd never had anyone do that. It was an interesting difference between politics and, and the media. I think they were more rattled than I was. I'm like, look, this is politics. Used to get I'm used to keep being <laughs> knuckleheads, you know, and it's right. like, you know, I sort of laugh and keep on going. That's, that, that, that's just part of the world we live in now. The night before... I'd been in New York City at Yankee Stadium where, where my Astros uh, swept the Yankees in game four. I, I got to ad admit, so, so some of the Yankees fans were, uh, <laughs> sh shall we say, even even less friendly uh, <laughs> than, than the protesters. They, they yeah. advised that I do things that I'm pretty sure anatomically impossible. Uh, but I tried to smile and enjoy it. And, you know, winning a baseball game and going to the World Series is not a, not a terrible thing. Yeah, yeah, well, congratulations on that. You know what's interesting? When it comes to debates or not even debates, when it comes to uh, you on stage as candidates, you have to think about bringing security with you now because someone could storm the yep. stage live tv uh, shows when they have an audience they're going to have to think about who's in their audience all right tell you mentioned your book tell us more about it so the book it comes out today uh it is called justice corrupted how the left has weaponized the legal system and and it walks through you know it starts with loudon county and you all remember loudon county virginia mm -hmm where there was a 14-year-old girl who went to school and she was violently sexually assaulted in the bathroom by a boy wearing a skirt. 
And after that happened, you, you would expect the school district to come down to prosecute uh, the, the, the sexual predator. Instead, what they did is they transferred him to another school. They insisted it never happened. They transferred him to another school, and, 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 and that predator attacked and sexually assaulted another little girl. At the school board meeting that followed that, the parents of that 14-year-old girl came in, and they were upset. They were understandably upset. And then they were infuriated because the school board was so concerned with their political ideology. They said it has never, ever, ever happened that a boy dresses a girl has committed sexual assault. And, and the father in particular was yelling, said, look, my daughter was raped at your school in your, in your care, and you're not doing a thing about it. They didn't call the police on, on the criminal. They called the police on the dad. Right. They arrested him. They threw him to the ground. They handcuffed him. And after that, as you'll recall, the National Association of School Boards sent a letter to the Biden administration saying, please target parents who go to school boards, target them as domestic terrorists under the Patriot Act. Six days later, Merrick Garland, the attorney general, directed the FBI to target moms and dads. This book is all about the FBI going after parents, going after Americans, going after Biden's political enemies. It also tells the inside story of January 6th, what really happened. This brings you behind the curtain to let you know what's happened. All right. It's available wherever you buy books today. It comes out just as corrupted how the left weaponized our legal system. Ted Cruz, sir, just, thank just you Just one much. last question. Uh, Senator, when will you decide if you're going to run for president? Oh, look, we'll see. I'm right now in the middle of a 17-state national bus tour. I'm in North Carolina right now. We're doing rallies all over the country for House candidates, Senate candidates. I think we're going to have in two weeks an incredible election. I think we're going to retake the House, retake the Senate, and I am leaving it all on the field because we have got to win in November if we're going to pull this country back from the brink. All right. You have a busy next two weeks, book tour and trying to, to save this country. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. You bet. The buses Are run on diesel? Yes. It's going to be expensive. Yes, uh, some, right. Some are electric. Just oh. saying.